So how long does it take to sell? That's a question I get asked a lot. And the question is more about, are we doing a good job or are we doing a bad job? What are the benchmarks? So if we look into time to sell, we actually have to make a little drawing. And those drawing has two lines. One is the amount of deals. And the other is, of course, the time it takes to sell. Now, there are three types of businesses. Business number one is classic small business. And clearly, as you can see, a lot of deals. So there's a lot of transactions. Next up is the medium-sized business, medium-sized business, which has already less transactions, less deals. And then finally, we have the large corporates. The big question now is how long does it take? So when I get hired by investors to look into companies and trying to figure out if the sales machine works and the sales model works, I'm trying to estimate what would be the optimum speed. And one of the things we've seen is that if you sell to small businesses, the optimum speed, the really optimum speed is zero to three months. What's the typical amount you will have there? Typical amounts will be somewhere between two to 20K really depends on the type of business and what you are selling, but it should be within the three months. Typically, the model here would be something called internet sales, internet sales, online sales, just as less touch as possible. If we go to the mid sized businesses, here we're talking about three to let's say nine months, and we're talking actually somewhere 20K to up to that can be even 100, 120K although those deals tend to take longer. So let's say optimum 50K around. That should be closed within three to nine months. Here, we'll typically build an inside sales model. Inside sales, meaning that you split out a sales role, you have somebody that basically tries to do all the outreach to get the prospects in, and then you have a sales to close the deal and build a relationship. Thirdly, the large corporates. And I've been in a lot of times in this type of business. And here we see nine months to 18 months. Sometimes if you go to M&A, very large deals, we sometimes see two, three years. Just take into account, it's going to take way longer than you think. That is why these deals are also very expensive. Because you need the sales, you probably need the pre-sales to help them. You need tenders, you need technical people to figure it out. You'll need lots and lots of meetings, eight to 12 meetings. All of that is possible. This model is typically executed with sales representatives, sales executives, account managers, whatever you want to call. Just keep in mind, the bigger the deal, the longer it takes. And you know what the reason is? Because B2B always has hierarchy. The bigger the deal, the more risk there is and the more people that needs to be convinced in the hierarchy. If you have small deals, you're doing a one-on-one. -on -one. If you have large deals, you're always talking about one to many and sometimes many within the selling company to many in the buying company. Whatever it is, how long it takes, one of the tricks is always to try and squeeze it by figuring out one question. Why should your prospect buy it now? Why now?